The F word. Apparently you're not allowed to say that anymore. It's not PC. Well, I think if I'm talking about myself, then I can say whatever I want about myself. I'm not hurting anybody else. So I'm becoming fat. A fatty boom batty. A chunky monkey. A seismic gargantuan huge disproportionate mound of quivering mass. In a nutshell, I've put on a little bit of weight. So my wife has come up with this really great idea that we should challenge ourselves to get back into the gym and back into healthy eating. So for two weeks, we're going to eat whatever's inside these two boxes here from U Foods. Now, U Foods, we just decided to use these guys as the food for our experiment. We do not have any affiliations with them. They don't sponsor this channel. We've got nothing to do with them. They're not paying me to say anything, which really is a good thing too, because I can let you know if they're crap or their food isn't good. So for the next two weeks, I'm gonna eat whatever's in the contents of these boxes. Plus I'm allowed to have obviously lots and lots of water. I'm allowed to have black coffee and orange juice occasionally if I feel like it. Now, before we take a look at what's inside these boxes here, I'm gonna go quickly jump on the scales so I can weigh my fat ass. Hey, babe, I think there's something wrong with the scales. They weren't broken until your fat ass got on them. I think we need to get new ones to be sure. Fucking COVID. I don't care what she says, I think the scales are broken. But I suppose the good news is I do have plenty I can lose. This is probably a good idea, to be honest. All right, let's crack this thing open and let's have a look at what's inside. This, of course, is going to be everything that I can eat for the next two weeks. Although, truth be told, these two boxes here only contain one week's worth of food. The rest of it will arrive a little closer to the end of the first week. So there seems to be a lot of food in here. Well, I'm not a small person, so I will be eating a total of five meals a day. Now, that might sound like a lot, but these are small meals, so small, frequent meals. The good news is no cooking for me. There's no real cleaning up. All I've got to do is probably nuke some of these things in the microwave and enjoy, hopefully, tasty, clean meals, because the one thing that I did do when we purchased these foods from you foods was i was meticulous in choosing only those foods that said clean because the clean ones tend to have lower carbs definitely lower fats and higher protein so they should be pretty good for you and at the end of two weeks as long as i don't cheat and i'm gonna do my best not to sounds like it's not going to be a lot of fun Okay, let's be optimistic. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Everything in here is gonna be very, very tasty. We're gonna lose some weight at the end of this uh, two weeks. We're gonna get back in the gym, gonna get that healthy lifestyle, that healthy lifestyle, I can't even say it, kicking along. It's gonna be great, gonna get fit. It's summer coming along, beach body. No one wants to shag a fatty. We all know that. So let's not be fat. Let's get going. Okay. Hey there, Charlie here from UFoods Customer Service. Well, thank you, Charlie. I'd like to know your thoughts and experience, what we're gonna do with all this free time whilst we don't cook. Cheers, Charlie. I hope I won't be saying, cheer up, Charlie. Wonderful little Willy Wonka reference there. Welcome to the future of food. If you say so, Charlie. Is that Charlie? What makes our meals so special? The cost. 250 bucks, basically, this costs for a week's worth of food. So, um, yeah, if, uh, if you're not up for that, I can totally understand. That is quite expensive. Anyway, what else we got here? Snacks, drinks, supporting local farmers, do we? Yeah, I bet we don't. But anyway, that's me being cynical. How to enjoy your you foods? You know, it's not just uh, done for the microwave. You can heat things in the fry pan, toast and sandwich press. Enjoy fresh from the fridge, freeze for later up to three months. Well, I've got two weeks. All right, terrific. Thank you, Charlie. Let's just have a look in here. 
All right, we've got our freeze pack here, keeping everything nice and cold. Okay, and as you can see, a whole lot of meals. So we have some chicken and Greek style cauliflower rice there. We have some classic lamb ratatouille, nice. Chili and ginger fish with pineapple rice. And maybe you're noticing a theme here is that every single one of these has clean written on it. That one there is clean. It tells you the amount of calories, the amount of protein, the amount of carbs, the amount of fat in each of them. So as a serve, these are all 300 and something grams. This one's 328, this one's 362. 318 so a little bit 300 to 350 we'll say so let's get these out of the box and into the fridge now that's box number one and you might be thinking how the heck am i going to eat all that food well when you're eating good food you actually can get away with eating quite a lot okay and in here we have again another freeze pack I've got a whole bunch of other meals in here as well. So pretty much, much of the same. Well, as I said, let's just get all these things here into the fridge. But bearing in mind that they do actually have a use by date on here. So this one here is to be used by the 24th of November. And this one here is to be used by the 1st of December. So as a result, probably makes a good idea for me to start popping the ones that have a longer use by date at the back of the fridge, just so we know we're eating things that are gonna go off, obviously, first. But since we're eating this all in the space of a week, I really don't see that being a problem. All right, well, let's move over to the fridge, get these things stacked up. All right, everything's been put in the fridge. I'm ready to give one of these a crack. So in my hand, I have chili and ginger fish with pineapple rice. Now I must admit it looks okay. So let's just slide the little cardboard sleeve off. And obviously that is going to be nuked. Now look, it's certainly nothing I couldn't have made myself and we really are doing this for convenience more so than anything else. But like I said, I've got to give it a go. Two weeks and uh, and see what sort of results we get. All right, well, let's get going and uh, test out some of this food. How to enjoy. Step one, remove the cardboard sleeve from the packaging. Way ahead of you there, you foods. Uh, step two, peel back the corner of the packaging. Like... Well, that didn't bloody work, did it? Peel back the other corner of the packaging. Haha, -ha, we have success. And nuke it in the microwave for two minutes and then enjoy and relax as your fat melts away. Doesn't actually say that. That last bit. Well, I'm hoping. Oh. I can actually smell that. What do we have again? We had chili and ginger fish. I like ginger. I don't know if you like ginger. Ginger is nice. Uh, with pineapple rice. Well, I'm about to nuke it. I'm going to let you know how it goes. Okay. Here it is. The U Foods fish. Um, have to be honest, it, it does smell pretty good. So, obviously we've got some zucchini. We've got some fish here. That's obviously in the pineapple rice with the sauce there and ginger in that. All right. The moment of truth. Bon Appetit. Good. 
it's hot which is fair enough it just come out the microwave but look the fish is quite nice Try the rice and the zucchini. Okay, but the rice and the zucchini, it's a little bit bland. But look, let's just give this a bit of a mix in with some of this sauce. Mind you, look, when you're ordering something like this, it's going to be bland. If you're going to expect it to be bland, it's not going to have the hugest amount of flavor when you're eating clean foods like we're eating here so sure if it's not to your taste you can always add salt and pepper or maybe a little bit of herbs but if you want to be true to the game so they say eating it like this well it certainly ain't going to kill you that fish is nice with the sauce mm. yeah mix it in it's gonna give this half of the food a little bit of flavor well look, look. My first experience is this isn't bad and look this is a, a heck of a lot smaller than any portion that i've been used to you know i could easily devour four of these isn't that's not a question here um the question is can i do this with healthy food consistently and then substitute any times i am feeling hungry with maybe a piece of fruit or some orange juice or just have a coffee or have have water or something to fill you up that's that's good and healthy and i'm going to say approved not that this is a particular diet it's just eating good food consistently and cutting out the crap and if something like this can help me uh and potentially help you guys then hey i'm all for it look there's a bit of money and yes it is nothing that you couldn't do your damn self what you got to do is get out there go and buy the right ingredients and cook but, you know, we live busy lives and sometimes the convenience factor of a product like this is really what's going to sell you. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to give it two weeks. Hopefully by the end of this video, you know, the conclusion is going to be either, hey, this was a terrific experiment, absolutely recommend it. Or, yeah, look, got good results, but you could do it yourself. Or it was shit. It's going to be one of those three. So if you want, you can certainly fast forward to the end and uh, just grab the conclusion. But... You know, from what I can see right here, um, well, it's certainly better than what I probably would have eaten today. And yeah, I mean, it's, it is it is quite tasty. So look, maybe give them a shot. You know, if, uh, if your diet is lacking and you don't have the time to cook, or maybe you hate cooking, then certainly a company like U Foods, and there are others as well, um, you know, will, will step in and, and fill that gap for you. So it's to save you from eating pizza all the time and eating Maccas and eating all that crud that's out there. So anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to enjoy this because it is quite nice. And uh, we'll just see how this journey goes. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Well, we've come to that time, the verdict and the results. What do you think? Have I lost a little bit? Well, truth be told, in the two weeks that I've been eating you foods, now, I have been supplementing with water, which of course they did not provide. Thank you to the tap. I have been drinking coffee, which they did not provide. Thank you to my local cafe, who's been supplying me with coffees there. Thank you, Vicky. And uh, I have had one glass of uh, fruit juice in this time, only because it was there and I decided to add it in. Now, the other thing I have been doing is keeping track of all my calories using my Fitness Pal, uh, which is an app you can get on just about any platform I imagine nowadays. Uh, and it is terrific because in order to count my food, and I know I'm hearing you say already, oh, I hate counting calories. That's stupid. It is, and I'm with you. But this particular app, I've got it on my phone here. It is very simple. All you've got to do is hit the app, say it's lunchtime, hit lunch, It'll say, what are you having? You hit the plus button and scan the barcode. And that's it. And every single piece of food that I've had from you foods was already in this. All I had to do was scan that barcode. It's put it in with all the nutrients and the calories and everything. It's all there. And it just adds it up. That's it. You've got to do almost nothing. It is so, so simple. So take the food out, nuke it in the microwave for about two minutes, take it out and enjoy it that is it and move on with your life that is what i've been doing for two weeks now the downside yes the cost the cost 
isn't cheap. And in fact, it's actually quite expensive, but is it worth it? Well, in my case, yeah, it's been worth it. And also, look, I'm not suggesting that if you do go down this path, you're going to do it permanently. It might just be something you do like I've done. Two weeks, kickstart everything, get you moving in the right direction, get you you know, doing having some consistency in your food and maybe training if you're doing that as well. And then start doing it yourself, you know, and then learn from what they've put in their meals and start making it yourself. There's certainly nothing stopping you from doing that. The second issue I have with uh, the U Foods as a whole is, well, and it's kind, of, it's kind of a tough one because I don't see any way around it, is that there's a lot of waste going to the environment. And I don't mean food, I mean packaging. So you've got your little cardboard sleeve, you've got your plastic containers, they're all getting thrown out after every meal and you think you know four or five of those are getting thrown out a day add my wife's to that you know we're throwing out eight or nine of these a day uh, so that is something that is long term it's not a good thing uh, okay i can accept my role in it for the couple of weeks that we've done um, and yeah it's uh look if i was doing this myself yes i'd be buying like pyrex glass reusable containers and i'd be making all that food popping in the fridge and then you can, of course, obviously just clean them and use them again. So for the environment, that's certainly going to be a better option. So if there was one way they could fix that, I don't know if there'd be some kind of swap thing. But hey, given COVID, I mean, people aren't going to want to do these sort of things, I can imagine. Anyway, that's a, that's a problem for them to solve. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, look, it was a winner. It was. I would have to say... If you are in a situation and you want to lose weight, or maybe it's not even you want to lose weight, it's just a convenience thing. You just don't have time to eat good. Then having something like you food in your life is going to be terrific, I imagine. You don't see that there's much of a downside if that situation is where you're finding yourself. So look, thumbs up to you foods. It isn't cheap. It is nice. It's certainly calorie and portion controlled. And if you stick to it, I would imagine, like me, you're going to see results. So 5.1 kilos, okay, sure, that seems to be quite high. Uh, I can't honestly hand on my heart say that you guys watching this are going to see achieve similar results. I mean, you might get better, and I hope you do. I really do. But, um, you know, that's unusual. So I don't think I would be coming into this if I were you watching me now thinking, whoa, I could lose five kilos in a couple of weeks. Well, maybe. Maybe you do. Um, but again, it all depends on your body. We all react differently to these sorts of things. Uh, and if you've been dieting before and you start this, you know, you might not see the results that I have. Hey, I've just been eating like a fatty for a while. So as a result, yeah, the changes shocked my body and maybe that's what um, led to such a dramatic weight loss. But at the end of the day, I'm happy with the results. I'm going to continue eating well. Hopefully over other videos, you're going to see my frame get back into shape. That would be lovely. And in conclusion, look, give it a go. I, um, I do recommend you foods having had it for two weeks. I'm probably not going to continue it. Only reason being is it's expensive. And But don't get me wrong. I would love to see where continuing to eat you foods for another two weeks or four weeks or two months would take me. So, hey, if you're out there, you foods and you're watching, you know, feel free to have a chat. And as any way we can come to a, a slight discount that I can afford to eat it for longer. Hey, I'm happy to let people know what happens, you know, down the track. But look, I'm not expecting anything. And I didn't come into this for that. I came into this just to kickstart myself and get a little bit healthier and see where it led. And it led to a 5.1 kilo loss. That's a win. That's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'd like to hear your comments on whether you've had similar experiences and or tried a different food even and it worked for you. So good luck. Happy fat loss, happy weight loss, whatever it is you want to do, live life and enjoy it. And hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way, because why not? It's a nice thing to do and it's a lovely day outside. So let's do that. Let's subscribe. Click everything that is good. And we're going to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day. You know, I thought before I go live with this video and set it out for everyone to see, I just wanted to wait another couple of weeks because this U Foods thing, we went for two weeks, we lost 5.1 kilos 
and uh, it's now been two additional weeks after that. So total of four, if your math is correct. And uh, we haven't had you foods. We've had my foods. And uh, I've been eating things like salmon and chicken and uh, kangaroo and, and things like that for the proteins. I've been eating a few potatoes and rice and uh, you know sweet potatoes as well and uh, salads. And, and it generally been eating pretty good. The Everything else hasn't changed. I've been drinking water. I've been having coffee. Just not having you foods. And the results are that I have continued that weight loss. I have continued to the tune of another 2.1 kilos. So I've lost over 7 kilos now in 4 weeks. So look, that's pretty good. And I just wanted to share that with you because I wanted to show you that it's not necessarily you foods that is helping with the weight loss it's all foods it's just eating well eating consistent and in all honesty i've preferred to eat my food than you foods and it's not any disrespect to them and their chefs it's just that uh, i prefer to eat my own cooking and it's fresh it's always fresh you know because i'm making it there and then so yes i don't have the convenience of the you foods product but I can tell you now, cooking for myself is a damn sight cheaper than eating you foods. So if you can afford you foods and that convenience factor is extremely important to you, then honestly, I still recommend you giving it a shot. If you do have the time and you're reasonably good at cooking or you enjoy cooking or you just prefer to go that way, do it yourself and hopefully you're going to get some great results too. But remember, consistency is the key. Good food is the key. Getting out and getting healthy, getting some exercise, if you can do that too, is also a big factor. And look, I must admit, I've had fun along the way. And I'm going to continue this. So hopefully, if you're watching this channel on a regular basis, you're going to see little old me, well, big old me, become slightly littler old me. And uh, yeah, it's time to get fit. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to keep going. And thank you all for watching this video. And again, my summary would be, if you can afford it, if you like the convenience, go ahead and try you foods. I do recommend it. If you can't, then cook for yourself, but just get stuck in. And if you guys have any trouble, you want to be motivated, you want help, you want to know exactly what I did, feel free to hit me up in the comments and I will tell you everything that I've eaten, everything that I've done, what I've done in the gym, which has been minimal, I must admit, but I'm happy to share it with you because sharing is caring. And it's nice to be nice. That's what I say. You have a great day. See ya.